it's me again and i think i'm now live i'm getting the death of wheel and the first time that i went live it had no sound apparently <laughs> so here i am doing it again and hopefully this time it will work so if you can if you're watching live please do let me know if you can hear me hello hello anybody there <laughs> So please let me know if you can hear me. Otherwise, I will have recorded this for a second time with no sound. So I'm going to assume I have sound and I'm going to say hi again. <laughs> and hopefully you know by now my face because I've been twice live today. Anyway, um, <clears throat> my name is Rocio. I am one of the group moderators and I'm trying to keep track of the chat um, and resident writing coach and Kathy Steen. And if you're listening live, please also, besides letting me know that you can actually hear me, <laughs> Let me know where you're tuning in from in the comments and that way we know where you're coming from. And also, if you're watching the replay, please go ahead and drop the hashtag team replay. And that way we know who's been watching us. Um, again, little reminder, if you can hear me, please go ahead and say hi. <laughs> then you can hear me because the first time you couldn't. So today I'm going to talk about what's your vision for your career in 2021? Taking intentional steps for materializing that vision. That's a lot of content for this short level up life. So I'm going to try to swiftly walk you through that. And yes, I know we're still in 2020, um, but the war for 2021 starts now. And by work, I want to make sure that I, I clarify that I don't mean only being on, um, being off and respecting our time to restore so that we can create and do all the great things that we want to do is an integral part of doing the work. And so we need to we need to make sure that we pay attention to this because we want to use this to both create and materialize our career visions in 2021. Again, if you're watching now, let me know if you can hear me. And so for the past month, um, the Level Up Lives, and you can go back in the history of this book, have been paving the way uh, to take what we have learned this year uh, much more intentionally and use it to guide that vision for our careers in 2021. A vision that is true to ourselves that can allow us to take charge as we map it. Um, and so to give you a few examples, and again, <laughs> I would also, it's really funny if I say this one more time, but I'm going to say it. Can you please let me know if you can hear me? <laughs> the first time you couldn't all right so let me walk you through just a few of the latest lives that we did that that go towards this point um in on october 20th i did a, a level up live that was all about turning 2020 around it was how to do that today and today in quotation marks um and so that we could lay the foundation for a better 2021 i walk us through getting our bearings because that was very important to be able to know where we were where we stood and also redefine and that's something you can play this back and, and go through the whole all of the exercises and it was all about um getting our bearings redefining where we were what we were doing how we were doing it who we were and also giving ourselves a permission to pause to increase our agency to make decisions that could both center um our restoring in our priorities uh october 27th gina came on board and she's you know my partner in crime and all things coaching and she talked about salvaging 2020 in very specific ways um and also you can watch that and you said to kind of like savage 2020 now and so in the video that, that Gina shared with us she asked us to focus our work for the rest of the year around four main concepts and those were reflect reclaim connect and eliminate and it was all about how to make it um a more productive and more restful end of 2020 and again she goes you know big picture and then very specific and i love that because it gives you specific steps to follow and you can play this video over and over and lastly Last week, Kathy <laughs> came in with her own, um, um, she's she's very transparent, kind and caring. And so she came in and, and showed all of that yet again in this group. Um, she gave you evidence. She gave evidence of all the amazing things that you've been able to do in this year that's been particularly stressful. And all again, to drive at this idea that we, we can do things. And so some of the examples that Kathy mentioned were how you care for a ton of people, including students, perhaps, um, how you were able to reset boundaries around time. And that's something that's super important because that's really hard to do and you were able to do it. You were able to create many things, even if you think that you deliver the thing that you have delivered before, it's just a different format. That's still creating. You figured it out, how to adapt it, how to change it, what worked for 
your current situation and be able to deliver that thing that maybe at some point you had a framework for. So you created all these things. You examine, um, all of us <laughs> examine systemic racism more deeply. Some people even did it for the first time. And it was really from a different lens, from a different sense of urgency, because that work is ongoing, that work is not gonna finish. And then it was a ma it's a matter of how do we incorporate it, right? In our lives, in our systems, in our ways of doing things. Um, and lastly, the best one of the best things in that live that Kathy mentioned was she gave you enough evidence and she went and you have to listen to this um this live and from the 17th but she basically walked you walked us through how or walked you through how you reimagined higher education and that is a powerful thing because can you imagine saying that you know like I actually reimagined higher education collectively you did and so it is it is not only fair to say that you can indeed also reimagine, recreate, re envision, and re implement this career vision that you have for 2021, even with this not as great 2020. So, in this level up life, what I'll do is <clears throat> I'm going to ask you to, excuse me, to dig a little deeper, to reimagine those careers that you want in 2021, but also I'm going to walk you through ways to start make, taking the next steps, like tangible, intentional, just little action to materialize that vision itself. So I figured um, that I had to break it out a little because it's a very daunting task, right? And, and the thing that I came up with is that we can think of our careers in 2021 as a bunch of relationships. And then we're working on relationships. <laughs> and that gets a little less, you know, it's, it's not as daunting, right? So the four relationships that I wanted to focus our attention to are relationships with um, yourselves, yourself, um, relationships with your priorities, uh, relationships with your writing, and relationships with your true possessions. And those are time, mental space, body, anything that belongs to you, that's really yours. So for the first one, relationship with yourself, I want you to dig deeper. And you're going to use all of this in crafting that um, career vision and then materializing it, right? So. If you want to journal, that's great. If you want to just jot it down somewhere on a virtual piece of paper, that's okay too. It's really what works for you, but you want to dig deeper and examine this relationship with yourself. You want to ask, do you know, do I trust myself? Do I communicate with myself? Do I respect myself? Am I committed to myself and my goals and my wants and my needs and my feelings and everything that makes me me? It makes you you. Do you allow yourself to be vulnerable, to be real, the real you? And so I want you to dig deeper with all of these questions and anything that you really consider is at the core of a good relationship, use that in all of these um, areas that we're gonna cover. The first one being relationship with yourself, the next one is gonna be relationship with your priorities. I want you to dig deeper. If you wanna journal, that's fine. Again, if you wanna just jot down, you wanna draw it, that's okay too. I want you to figure out what's the status of your relationship with your priorities, those you love and care for. Um, it could be people, it could be things, feelings, goals, it's really anything that matters to you. Where does that relationship stand? The next one is going to be a relationship with your writing. And so that one is, it's very important because our centers, our, our, our careers really center a lot and put writing at, um, at the forefront of everything. So how do you, how do you honor your writing as a craft? How do you honor your voice to come through in your work, in your day to day? Do you allow yourself to be empowered, to have agency through your writing? What's the status of this relationship with your writing? Do you give it importance? Do you leave it aside? Does it fall through the cracks? Why? How? And so the last relationship that I wanted to focus on is the relationship with your true possessions. And those are time, mental space, and body. And so the questions here to dig deeper are going to be, do you fill up your week um, with what matters and respects your main possessions, um, the main things that um, come that are yours, but also in relationship to those other relationships, the one, the first three that we cover yourself, um, your writing and your priorities. So how does your week get filled? in relationship to those relationships, it sounds kind of funny. <laughs> Do you respect these things, your time, your mental space, your body, your anything that is yours? Do you give room or even make room 
to have things or to not have things because that is that's powerful in itself right it's not just what you put on your plate but it's also what you allow not to be put on the plate um, and so how does that play into this relationship so that's it those are the four relationships that I, I figure we could focus on and look at those relationships and then through that envision our careers for 2021 and then make tangible steps so for people in academia you know writing is is key to our controlling our careers and we know that and if you remember anything in, from this Level Up Life, I want to make sure that you remember that you deserve that career that you want. You deserve that career that celebrates, encompasses, and it's, it's really going to be the whole of you, not just one aspect of you. And that's why I want you to dig deeper with those relationships, because you're going to, through this journey, you're going to figure out, okay, how is my career and my vision of my career in 2021 incorporating all of these things? all of your relationships and so thinking of your vision for your careers in 2021 as a bunch of relationships is going to make it a little less daunting perhaps and it's going to make it a little easier to perhaps start taking those little steps to really center our writing and use it as the superpower that it is for us because it does give us power and so in taking intentional steps to materialize this vision for our careers in 2021 what what would that look like well Let's go back to those four relationships that I shared and let's take, you know, at least a couple to materialize this in a way to exemplify this. Um, and so you can take what you were able to dig deeper, deeper for these relationships. And then right next to each of those four relationships, write a small but intentional way to improve that relationship. And so, for example, in terms of relationship with your priorities you know this is one of the four relationships that i talked about earlier um how are your priorities connected to your career vision for 2021 and in that sense from that space from that perspective then how are how what kind of what small step could you take to improve that relationship and take it one step further and really lay the foundation for a good career vision and a good materialization of that career in 2021. Another example could be relationship with your writing. So you're going to ask, dig deeper and ask yourself, you know, how do you honor your voice? How does your voice come through? Perhaps you want to be an expert. And, you know, this is the connection to that uh, vision for 2021. Look at that relationship, find the connection to your vision for your career. And then what is the one thing that you can do, even if it's little, What's the one thing you can do now? The relationship with your writing, how do you honor your voice? Perhaps it ties in with your career vision because you want to be an expert in X subject, in X theme. And so what's the one step that you can take to guarantee that, to help that move it further along? Um, you're going to rely, I guarantee you, a lot on systems that you need to put in place to make these things happen. You, you want to make sure that that voice comes through the goals that you said happen. And so you need to use all of your resources. That's the bottom line to make sure that these relationships are in good standing from your perspective. So before I summarize, I just want to repeat that it is time to dig deeper and reimagine our careers for 2021 in a way that's going to help us take the next steps, the next tangible, intentional little action so that we can materialize that vision. I gave you two examples. If you had more time and if I hadn't done it twice, <laughs> I would be able to dig a little deeper and give you more examples. But the bottom line is that if you can if you can think of, okay, I need to plan, I need to vision my career for 2021, what's what's one easy way to do it is to think of things in terms of relationships, use the four relationship examples that I gave you um, earlier, and take each of those and see how do they connect to this career vision that I want for this coming year, 2021. And then what are some of the steps, little steps that I can take to strengthen this relationship and that is how you're going to make those tangible um, steps towards your career in 2021 really materializing so um, all of these items are going to help you and all of the things that we've covered today are going to help you prioritize and really focus so that you can create both the careers and the lives that you want. And so in this short life, I basically cover, you know, what's our vision in uh, for our careers in 2021, taking intentional steps to materialize that vision. We talked about how thinking of your vision for your careers in 2021 as a bunch of relationships can make it a little easier and then perhaps start taking little steps, medium-sized steps, however big steps you want to make it less daunting, to really rebuild those careers around your writing. Writing is a centerpiece 
for our work in academia, um, you need to honor your writing. You need to honor your craft. You need to figure out how you're doing or not, and then take action based on that. You need to use all of your resources. Again, you have a ton of systems. I know Kathy shares a lot, and we come in a lot of lives and share some things too. So use the systems, use the tools that you have, use your community. Community is big and powerful. All of you in this group have a huge community. So you have all of those people and the resources and the support. You also have some of you, a lot of you, are in our momentum program. And I know <laughs> that's a wonderful community too. And then we have navigate and amplify and elevate. And so they all have their own different styles and flavors and support that they offer. So use anything and everything because it is time to think of our careers in 2021. It's time to think of what's our vision. What's a vision that honors all of ourselves, that really brings all of us into that and how to make that happen. And again, relationships and just mending those little by little, it's, it's just another way to make it a little easier, less daunting and really push for that, um, for that action. If you're interested in doing um, this in a community that we have, that's gonna kick off soon. And it's a very special thing that we have going um, on Kathy's team. If you want to do this, envisioning taking charge and really crafting materializing that career in 2021 as part of the navigate program as part of our special cohort called the phoenix cohort and it's a beautiful story behind it <laughs> um then do let us know and i'm gonna put in the comments actually a link where you can um sign up and it'll put you on a waiting list so you can get all the information and you'll be able to have first access to um this course that we are providing and, and again it's a course that's heavily um about the systems and the resources and all the tools that you need to create this vision and not just create it but make it happen um, there is a community component a heavy community component so it really tackles um, a lot of things and again it's just for you to have yet another way to make sure that you have that career that you want in 2021 the vision we're gonna make it happen and this is one way to do it i'm excited about this group I, I'm looking forward to all the things we're going to do together. And so I'll put in the comments the link for that. And I shall see you next time. And I hope you actually heard me this time. <laughs> and be safe, be well. And I will talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye.